What's up, YouTube? Here working on the Trans Am today. Doing an oil change. This is a simple oil change. Uh, giving Lucas Hot Rod and Classic 10W30 oil a chance with the high zinc because of the flat tap of cam in this. I'm adding a quart of Lucas engine oil stabilizer to. Heavy duty stabilizer. Molasses in a can. Hopefully that's uh or as a lot of guys call that small block Chevy rebuild in the can. Uh, or I like to call it uh, small block uh, Chevy valve seals in a can. But I found some stuff out about the uh, car. I pulled the diff cover off of it and drained the rear diff fluid. It was nice and clean and everything, but it's got a Lincoln locker. If you guys don't know what a Lincoln locker does, it's when you take a chunk of steel plate, weld in there, and weld all your spider gears to it. So the sad thing is it's a nice 7 point five i mean that's not a really good axle but it's a, the casing is really clean it's a nice housing and everything but the axles are junk uh because you're gonna have to cut the center out and blow the chunks of metal out to get them clips out because them clips will probably never come out without ruining ends of your axles so your axles are going to be junk your ring and gear and pinion will probably get uh uh chunks of metal blown on it you might be able to keep it out of there and keep them good i don't know i'm going to start sourcing another rear end for it probably i'm probably just going to find another 7.5 and build a 7.5 for it i mean i'm not looking to make this car make a lot of power like i said i just want to do a sniper efi on it possibly a six speed swap uh, i do want to keep the factory 373 rear gears uh yeah that's there's not a lot this this car is going to become a little fun driver i did order the digital dash for it the blue digital gauges uh, so they'll be here and i'll probably do a video on them but uh, yeah right now i'm just uh changing oil i uh, changed the transmission i uh, dropped it it had uh, just regular atf in it i went ahead and put what uh, trimic recommends in the non-world class t5s synthetic 50 weight went ahead with lucas again so pretty much all lucas oil change in this bad boy Except for the uh, uh, 8090s, just uh, champion Napa brand stuff. Some stuff I got over Napa, just 8090, typical 8090. Put a Canaan filter on it. Gonna use that Lucas oil. It's just conventional. It's not uh, it's not uh, synthetic or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna possibly do some uh, removing of that, but I don't know yet. Tonight depends. I may just get her started and. Uh, yeah get the uh oil back in the rear diff and then go ahead and hit the uh, road with her and see if my transmission's quieted down a little bit with the uh thicker oil because the newer atf is thinner than what that would have had that would originally had dextron 2 in it that's what the uh, gm book called for with dextron 2 dextron true is too bleh, bleh, bleh. dextron 2 is actually a heavier automatic transmission fluid than uh like your three and four and so on so the 50 weight oil is a little heavier and for the non-world class that's what they recommend so that's what if trimic trimic's built transmissions a lot longer than uh, a lot of people have said so or a lot like a lot of people they've built transmissions they know the end working of these they've took the patents over they own these they built uh tk500s and tk6 tko 600s they should know sure they've been in plenty of t5s they should probably know what's best for them and uh borg warner, borg warner actually recommended that when uh, dextron 3 came out was to use 50 weight gear oil or well transmission lubricant is what it's called actually it is a bit thicker it's not red yeah heavy duty transmission lubricant with synthetic additives if it's synthetic 50 weight Oh, you know, you can't even see. Synthetic 50 weight, heavy duty. And there's just some universal automatic training fluid. That could have probably went in there, but I went ahead and uh, that automatic transmission fluid goes on my transfer case of my 83 there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get, I dumped uh, about a half a, uh, about a quarter of a quart out, added about two quarts of oil, then I dumped the rest in there, then I'm gonna add the rest of the four quarts of oil to the engine. This is a five quart container. So I have one quart left over for uh, when she burns her oil because, you know, it's a small block, so it's going to probably burn oil. Unless this uh, 
does help it a little bit. Uh, zinc does hurt catalytic converters. This car does not have a catalytic converter anymore. It did originally. God knows how long it's been gone. But yeah, right now it does not have, so I'm not gonna hurt that. Should help that flat tap at cam. The extra zinc in there, so uh, yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm doing tonight. Just simple stuff, nothing crazy. Uh, really bummed about that uh, differential though. That really bums me. Uh, I wanted to just be able to slap a set of spider gears and pull the little spool out because the spool, the little tiny spools you put in 7.5 cost like 65 bucks, guys. Really, don't even, I wouldn't even bother welding it. Even if it was a derby car, I would spend the 65 bucks to buy the limited slip, or not the limited slip, the locker and throw it in it. Because I mean, when you're done with the derby, you can just pull the slip out and save it for your next project. But uh, yeah, I'll probably end up building a limited slip rear end for this. Uh, I don't know if I'll use this housing or whatnot. I'll probably try to track down another 7.5 and put in it. I could upgrade it to the uh, 7.625 or whatever was in the 4th gens, the later 4th gens and the later 3rd uh, gens. Uh, just go to a little bigger front end, or not front end, but a little bigger rear end. Uh, why have my tires off the ground? I'm probably going to change this one, which is unidirectional over to this side and put this side that is going backwards on the other side because this is directional and the traction arrows are going this way so i'm going to go probably put this tire on the other side and put the other side tire this side tire on the other side just so i got my tires going the directional direction so who knows but yeah my plan is to get some bfgs for it anyways i'm probably going to go with a little bit bigger in the rear and uh probably keep the same size in the front the what are they the 225s i think 225, 60, 15s is what I'm gonna keep up front, the 225, 60, 15s. And the front, and I don't know what I'll do with the rear, probably do uh, maybe a 275, 60, maybe, something like that. I've seen a few uh, setups. I do wanna kinda fill in the rear a little bit, give it a little more of a rake, cause I do like big tires on third gens, I think they look good, but yeah, so yeah. Well, that's enough of me babbling, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up so I can get on home. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good night. Well, good night, good day, good morning, good evening, whatever it time you watching this video. So just have a good, just have a good rest of the whatever it is. So peace.